Hello, my name is Caleb Cravens and I'm a meteorologist at the Nashville National Weather Service office. Today we're going to talk to, about the water cycle. Did you know that most of the Earth's surface is covered by water? About 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, with most of that being the oceans. This water can take three different forms, liquid, solid, and gas. And its journey around the world is known as the water cycle. Liquid water is found in Earth's oceans, rivers, lakes, and streams. Liquid water is also present in the soil and underground. Solid ice is found in glaciers and snow. The last form of water is vapor, which is the gas form of water, which is found in our atmosphere. That's what clouds are made of. The water cycle starts with the sun. As the sun heats the Earth's surface, it also heats liquid water. Liquid water will eventually become water vapor and rise into the atmosphere. This process is called evaporation. Water from plants and trees also enter the atmosphere due to the sun's heating. This process is called transpiration. Once water vapor enters the atmosphere, it rises higher and higher until the cool air at the, of the atmosphere causes it to condense back into liquid water and create clouds. Once a cloud becomes too full of liquid water, it falls from the sky as rain, snow, sleet, or hail. This process is known as precipitation. The precipitation enters our lakes, streams, and oceans, and the process starts all over again. We hope you enjoyed this educational video on the water cycle. Thank you for joining us.